today we are going to discuss about how to make a strong career in oil and gas sector for mechanical engineers because there are candidates who have completed their graduation in the month of june and july and have stepped out to the market to find better job and to pursue a better career but most of them are unaware about how to get an entry in oil and gas because there are no informations available in the forum so this video will help you to understand what you have to do in order to get an entry in oil and gas sector to make a strong career so in this video we will discuss about five key steps that you have to follow in order to get an entry so without wasting your time let's get started i am subhash chandra with you from pemidaka so step number one choose your domain what is domain domain is nothing but the nature of work that you are interested in basically it's your area of interest in oil and gas sector we can have we can discuss about the three major areas where you will be able to find lots of opportunities number one is construction number two is design number three is project management so these are the three major domains you have to choose which domain you are interested in so let me give you an idea about what is construction design and project management construction is nothing but more of installation and fielding field activities where you will be arranging the materials and you will be uh, installing the equipments and pipings and structures actually you will be building the prototype by referring the design drawings so this is more of the construction what is design design is nothing but building a design from the idea that has uh, came from the client the client will come up with some requirements so from that requirement you will be developing a design and that will be reflected in the drawings this could be by using of softwares by using of design principles guidelines specifications and everything but finally you will be developing the design in the drawing and this drawing will go to the construction and construction team will prepare the uh, installations and fabrications so this is about the design basically then what is project management project management is nothing but facilitating all other activities in order to smoothly sail through the engineering activities both in design and construction so that the design engineers can only focus on to the design construction engineers can only focus on to the construction activities so project management activities are in such a way that starts from the start of the project and it ends up to the end of the project actually so project management is more of facilitating controlling managing and executing the whole project so this is the difference between three domains so it's really important to understand these three important domains and choose your favorite domain in order to get an entry in oil and gas because we have to move to the step number two so what is step number two step number two is to choose your favorite role within the chosen domain so let's start from the construction in construction we have multiple job roles one is piping and mechanical engineers who does core piping and mechanical construction activities and second is qa and qc quality engineers and third is maintenance and integrity engineers who does all the maintenance and integrity checks for the equipments so these are the three different job roles available in the construction so you have to understand which job role is more suitable for your interest now let's go to the design in design we have piping design engineers piping stress engineers you have piping material engineers and you have 3d and 2d designers so these are the different job roles available in design category so here also you have to find which job category category is more suitable for you so that you can pursue that career now let's go to the project management in project management you have planning engineers planning engineers are even involved in the construction and as well as design there are planning engineers who are specialized in construction engineers uh, i mean construction activities and there are planning engineers who are specialized in design activities and there are planning engineers who are specialized in both design construction procurement and complete execution of the project so planning engineer is one of the primary role in project management and then the project engineers project engineers are those who does the project engineering activity uh, which would facilitate uh, the project right from the start to the end actually then you have a costing engineers who does the cost estimations because they will have the fundamental engineering ideas about how to do a costing engineers but this comes from the experience and you do have some uh, institutes and in coaching uh, to get an idea about how the costing engineering is works actually so this is the three primary act, uh, the job roles in uh, project management so here we have seen the construction job roles design job roles and project management job roles so you have to list down all this uh, job roles and see whether you are you specially interested in one particular job role or not 
I would advise you to choose one particular job role so that you will be able to focus more on to developing a knowledge and the skills of that particular job role. So that will help you to get an entry into the oil and gas because there are people who are applying without any idea about what kind of job that they have to apply. Once you choose a domain and then you choose a job role, then it's easy for you to understand about how the market works and it's one your only focus next is to develop the skills and knowledge so now let's go to the step number three step number three after step number one and two is collect role specific informations once you have chosen the job role designation that you are interested then you have to collect the specific informations that are relevant for that particular designation how to get the information from uh, the, for a particular specific job role. The first one is you can browse uh, in Google or Naukri job portals or any job portal to find the job requirements. So you will be able to understand what are the skills and qualifications and the software skills and the technical skills required for a particular job. So that is one way of getting and another one is that you can speak to an experienced guy. You can find a lot of experienced guy because we have a forum to uh, get a connection with an experienced person. You have LinkedIn, you have multiple forums available by which you will be able to directly interact with that particular person so that you will be able to understand what exactly the it is required, where and what and what kind of information, what books you have to read basically. So you will be able to get the core uh, specific job role informations so that that will be easy for you to uh, get started. So if you do not know anything, you will be randomly going through multiple materials, multiple course which may not be useful for you. But if you select a particular job role and discuss with an experienced guy and check the job requirements in the job portal, you will be able to understand what is the specific job skill that the market is required. That, that is very important instead of just generalizing your, um, uh, I mean, your profile in order to get any kind of job in the market. So this is um, uh, step number three. Now let's go to the step number four. Step number four is to improve skills and knowledge. So this is a very important skill. So there are different ways of improving skills and knowledge. One is you can read books. And second, you can take some um, uh, software uh, courses, uh, trainings actually. There are online courses available. And third, you can get uh, a direct interaction with an experienced person and request them to teach the subject. So there are three multi different ways in order to learn. Books and by courses and by directly uh, interacting with the experienced guy. So for that also, you have a, a platform actually. For course also, you have a lot of platforms available actually. But you have to do this in sequence. Skill and knowledge is very important for any job role. Remember, most of the candidates who are applying for jobs are applying without knowing what are the skills and knowledge required for a particular job. But if you being a specific candidate who knows about the skills and have developed at least 50 to 60 percentage of the skill required for a particular job, you will be able to get a job. So that's the very pure idea behind getting a job itself actually. So we have completed with the step number four. Now let's go to the step number five. Now let's go to the fifth step. Fifth step is nothing but CV preparation. How to prepare a CV for a particular job requirement? Remember, most of the candidates who are preparing the CV are more generalizing their requirements by not being very specific to a particular job role. But if you can become very specific to a particular job role, you'll be able to sail through the interview process very easily. I'll tell you a tips actually. Instead of generalizing the skills which are not relevant for a particular job role, you have to be very much focused uh, for a particular job requirement. And you have to write uh, right from your objective, you have to show that you are interested in a particular job role and you possess all the skills. Let's say for an example, you can write your objective in this way. You are applying for this particular position because the nature of job that the role demands is your area of interest and you possess all the skills and knowledge which are required to work as an engineer in this particular role. And you can also write that you will strive to become uh, a more knowledgeable person in the coming days in order to serve the organizations in uh, in order to increase their productivity and improve their revenue system. So basically, 
and every part of your CV, you have to show that your you have an interest in this particular job. Just blindly don't put which is uh, totally not relevant to the particular job role. I know that there are people putting all the software that they are knowing and that they have seen in their uh, career, but that is not the requirement for any particular CV. If you are applying for any particular job, go through the job requirements put only those skills that are primarily required for that particular job so that will help you to that will help you for the interviewer to understand your cv better and write it in a paper actually so that you will be able to constructively follow the ideas follow these five steps step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 and 5 sequentially you progress actually you have to do some browsing you have to do you have to collect some information you have to spend uh, in order to get more idea about what i'm talking about in google you'll be able to easily find use linkedin use nokri and you uh, use any job prof profile to understand the job roles that i have discussed over here hope this video will give you an idea about how you can get an entry in oil and gas to make a strong career i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandran